Hi, I'm John Chase, and today I want to talk to you about angular momentum. Now, angular momentum is that thing that kind of keeps your wheel spinning in the same way it does when you're on your bicycle. It's the reason a frisbee keeps so sturdy when you throw it. Angular momentum is so important in our lives. So I'm going to give you a little idea of what it is and how it works. So what we're going to do is we're going to investigate this angular momentum equation over here by use of this equipment right here. All you will need is a couple of vinyl records, 12 inch if possible, a few biros, a CD marker, some string, a ruler, a couple of CDs, 32 two pence coins, We've got some scissors, and a little bit of sellotape. Oh, and don't forget, we need blue tack, bolts, four millimeters on the inside if possible. So what I wanna do is, I wanna challenge you. I wanna ask you and see if you can actually balance this pen like this on its tip like that. Now it's up to you. Um, I'd say you can use CD, you can use some blue tack. The only important thing is the blue tack can't touch the table and the CD can't touch the table. The only thing that's allowed to touch the table is that. So all you need to do is take some sticky tack, put it around the pen. Pretty easy really. And there you go. Lies. Right. Next thing you do is you take the CD. You try and stick the tack so that the pen is right through the middle. Let's try it. Look at that. You've got it balancing on its top. So that's angular momentum. Now let's explore how to make angular momentum greater or smaller. All we need is the CD. What we're gonna do with the CD is, we're gonna put a different axis on it. So I'm gonna take the nuts and bolts, screw it through the middle to try and get a lovely sturdy center and make sure I get it straight in the middle. So if you follow along, I'm gonna do this. You can have a go at home and see how good it is. Don't forget to put in your penny washer because that allows this to fit around the CD. Voila. So it still works and we can see it spinning. So now let's have a go at changing one of these factors. So first of all, I want to change V, which is just its velocity. It's moving quite a lot, isn't it? Moved it quite slowly, but it was still spinning and staying up. And that's because it had angular velocity. I know. How about we change M? Now, M just stands for mass. It just stands for how much it weighs. So we're going to change it and increase it. So if we increase it, we should expect the angular momentum to increase. So let's increase the mass. We're going to stick two pence coins around the outside of this CD. So there we go. We could do more. So if you want, you could try at home. You could take the two pences and you can stick them to the edge. And if you put them on the edge, that is changing the final part of the equation. And that's this part, R. And that's basically saying how far each one of these are from the beginning, from the center. We call it the radius. So the bigger that is, Hopefully, the more stable and the higher the angular momentum. Okay, so we've seen how the different things affect it. Now let's not mess around. Let's try something even bigger, like a vinyl. Now while that's doing its thing, I think I'll upgrade to something even bigger and badder than this. And this is due to angular Momentum. Now where's the rest of my bike? I need to get out of here. 
If you want to see more of this cool live experiment stuff, why not just subscribe to Head Squeeze? It doesn't cost you anything. You hardly have to do anything. You have to just lift your finger up and touch the screen or move your mouse. That's it. Go on, do it.